I volunteered for the Anne Frank exhibit because I thought it would be a great opportunity to get to know people, to learn a little bit more about her story and the history of World War II. And I thought it would just be a good opportunity to get my knowledge out there and stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> I volunteered because I was very interested in the topic. Um, I'd learned a little bit about Anne Frank and her life in grade six, but I wanted to learn more and like sort of her place in World War II. And then once I had learned it, it was so much and I just wanted to share what I'd learned with others. Training allowed me to connect with the younger students here at Bruns and around the community and uh, that's very important in this day and age to pass down that knowledge and I think that's a big part of uh, what this exhibit has been is passing down people's stories and sharing knowledge between different age groups. When becoming a guide, I learned how to deal with various different types of students as well as expand the knowledge that I learned over the past couple of days to others. In becoming a guide, I learned, I think because personally I think I have really good public speaking skills, but from learning guide and learning the stories and everything, I think I really connected with the people. Me personally, I learned a lot about Anne Frank that I didn't know about. And that's so surprising because you hear about her story, then you hear all these little interesting facts. Like, I didn't know she fell in love with Peter Van Pels, which she ended up falling out of love, which I wouldn't have even known if I didn't know that fact in the first place. And it's just interesting. When I was giving the guided tours, I learned patience, how to talk in front of others, and how to answer questions. I learned about her, but I forgot about it because I learned about her when I was younger. And now, like, learning about her again, I'm, like, remembering some stuff, but I'm learning new things, and it's just super interesting to me. You learn how to talk to someone but instead of just spewing facts like really talk to someone to be able to relate to them to connect to them and I think that just gives you not only public speaking skills but just speaking skills in general and talking to someone it's easier to relate with people and just connect on that different level so I think this is a really good story to do that with as well. In becoming a guide, I learned the importance of Anne's story, not just as a young girl overcoming obstacles and trying to have a life in difficult times, but as someone who gave a voice to those who had their voices taken away from them. She spoke for all those who were not able to. Yeah. I would like people to know that Anne's story isn't unique. A lot of people went through exactly what she went through, but it's so well documented and it gives us such a great insight into exactly what a 13-year-old girl during World War II is thinking, that that's what makes it relevant and that's what makes it relatable and that it can bring something that happened, you know, decades ago so much closer. I think um, what I, I found the most interesting about this is it's really interesting to find that it's easier to connect to a story or to this big event when it's actually a personal story so for Anne it was so like just being in her shoes and understanding from her perspective like I'm I was the same age as her and so I kind of like can see myself having to go through that and so like just to be able to put myself in her shoes and kind of understand through her eyes it gives me a better perspective of what actually was happening. The purpose was to get people to think about what they themselves thought and their own experiences, because there's only so much information you can absorb by having it, you know, told to you and maybe reading it. But then when they're able to think about their own feelings and thoughts on the subject, they're able to really delve in and get to the heart of what we're talking about. Aside from what you'd think of normally like saying, oh, run, go as fast as you can, I think I'd tell her to, in this point, to, you know, keep, keep trying, keep persevering because uh, you never know what the future holds, I guess. And I think for her, it would just, because she was such this, like, happy and, like, optimistic girl, and I think 
if she had that at the end of her life, it might have her fate might have turned out a different way. So just to never lose hope and keep that happiness that she was in like her days in the annex, because there weren't a lot of people like that. So yeah, that I'm happy she got a normal childhood for the first couple years. I know what she's been through is super hard to deal with and I couldn't wrap my head around being stuck in a annex for two years without seeing the sun. So her doing that is super brave and just everyone should hear her story.